is Friday, April 23rd, and we are about to get on a new adventure. And when I say we, I don't just mean me today. I'm in my truck, we're driving down I-81 through Virginia, and in the car with me I have my buddies Seth and John. So they're here, and uh, we're about to do a little multi-day uh, kayak camping. On the upper James River in the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains so originally our plan was to do Pine Creek Gorge in the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon but the weather was uh, not looking favorable and really cold so we decided to head south a few hundred miles figuring we'd gain uh, you know some nice temperatures and have a nicer paddle it's currently 36 degrees so uh, we'll see how that works out and um, we'll make the best of it and try to stay dry and try to stay warm. But uh, looking forward to a new river that, uh, that we've never done before in some beautiful scenery, some good company, and, uh, and yet another adventure. So we'll check in when we're on the water. Talk to you soon. All right, folks, well, here we are. Twin River Outfitters in Buchanan, Virginia getting ready to start our two-day paddle down the upper James River we're uh, we're doing the glamping method this week and uh, my man Seth is ready to go we got the boats are loaded up we're getting ready to be uh, getting ready to be shuttled up to the launch point about 25 miles up river and um, Looking forward to a good time. It's probably what do you think Seth? We got about a balmy 45 degrees now. Yeah, it's 45 degrees. Yeah, we're set. We're late, set. And look, look at Seth. Late Seth wind. even wearing a Manchester United hat, <laughs> just for me, my man. It's so warm out here that we need a hat. Yeah, man. We're looking forward to it, and uh, yeah. we'll chat when we're back on the river. Really looking forward to this one. Should be a good time. Boats are all loaded up. Just got our safety briefing from Mike, and uh, we're good to go, man. John, you ready? Seth, you good? All right, man, here we go. All right, boys, before we get going here. Wait, are we on? Scene one. Scene one, act one. Wait, did you start or no? Yeah. Oh, what you got all this so, nonsense. It's called editing tools. Oh, Seth, yeah. I, can, I can cut this back. <laughs> all right, guys, ready to go? Here we go, James River Paddle Adventure. We are ready. All right, celebrating birthday. Here we go, let's roll. Be careful, the 18-wheelers turning. <laughs> guys mock me. YouTube friends, you guys know that I usually paddle alone. Well, today I got two knuckleheads with me. Uh, they're abusing me already, so um, this may not be a typical Burt's adventure. I may have to knuckle some heads or uh, tip, some, tip some friends here. All right, folks. So here we are, like I said earlier, um, on the James River in southern southwest Virginia. We um, went out with Twin Rivers Outfitters out of uh, Buchanan, Virginia, and uh, just took us, they drove us up to Eagle Rock, and um, we're going, I think it's going to be about 25 miles total uh, for this trip from Eagle Rock back to back to uh, Buchanan with uh, one night camping. Now, we ain't roughing it on this trip. We're actually, the outfitter has glamping sites. So we're actually at one of their sites along the river with uh, nice canvas tents, little camp kitchens, chairs, grills, fire pits, all that fun stuff. So. Uh, really all we had to bring with us on this trip is just like our sleeping gear clothes and food everything else is pretty much uh, provided and um, Really reasonable price. So if you ever think about doing coming down here and doing the James River um, Twin Rivers Outfitter was Unbelievable to work with on the front end and getting us here to get us started today. So absolutely no complaints and very very um, Economical as far as doing it. So Yeah so we're on the river and uh, today I think we're doing 14 miles today. So uh, it's about 11 a.m. We're just getting started. So we have a pretty full day ahead of us and, uh, and we'll get down there to camp in time to, you know, get settled in and settled up and have a nice dinner and uh, 
just enjoy the, the ripple of the water going by tonight. But in the meantime, we got lots to see. A lot of good uh, class one and two water along here. And I think we hit two or three sections of nice class two today, so. Um, so apparently these buttresses were coming up to here. Um, apparently there was a huge flood on this river in 1985 where the water level got up to like 38 feet. And from what I hear from the guide telling us, we're gonna see a lot of buttresses and bridges, old ones, that were washed out during that flood. So um, last week, the river got shut down to commercial activity. So I think he said they hit 13 feet last week. So that was pretty crazy. Um, they actually closed the river over six feet as far as safety of navigation for the commercial. For the commercial. Uh, today it's, it's about four and a quarter feet, so the water's moving pretty good. Um, ideal paddle height, they say, is two to four feet, and we're just over four feet, so um, it should be good. It, it really should be good, so I'm looking forward to it. Alrighty, folks, here we go. First rapid of the day. Not much to this little guy. section of water there. This cool area here called the cliffs. So what I didn't mention is that the reason we're at the James River Originally, we had plans we were going to go to uh, Pine Creek Gorge in, north, in northern Pennsylvania, but um, the weather forecast was just for really cold temperatures. Uh, so we opted against that. And uh, sure enough, we come out down here to Virginia and it was 31 degrees this morning. So by the time we took off, it was more like 43, 44 degrees, but um, still a lot chillier than we expected in late April. But um, so far, this is just gorgeous, very remote and uh, quiet and just pristine, pristine nature. So uh, looking forward to this paddle, especially today. These uh, few miles today are supposed to be really isolated and pretty, so this should be really good.
wet. So, what I didn't talk about, folks, is that today is birthday. Birthday, April 23rd, and that's why we're here. Or that's why I'm here anyway. So, uh, April 23rd, today is two years of no drinking for me. So, I call it birthday. Uh, but the interesting thing is that April 23rd has been kind of an eventful day in my life. I don't know why. But uh, when I was younger, I had a really bad car accident. Almost killed me and a buddy um, on April 23rd. And then on April 23rd, that's also the day that I joined the military. So that was my uh, entry date into the Army. And, uh, and then April 23rd of 2019, I, uh, I stopped drinking. So... I've decided that April 23rd I'm going to celebrate it as birthday and I'm going to get out and I'm going to do something. So I did it last year and uh, to celebrate that because that was monumental one year. Two year doesn't feel quite as monumental but um, yeah, it's still good. It's, uh, yeah, life is different, life is good. So I'm here and I'm glad I'm out here with two good buddies and uh, we're enjoying it. Even if it's cold, we're still having fun. So that's why we're here. That's birthday. coming towards you, sir. It's a big pike. Seth. John, look at this guy. Look at this dude. Holy sh So, I don't know how much I caught of that on, on video, but um, that was a giant. I honestly don't know if that was a muskie or a pike. That was a big, a big guy, and uh, he definitely was beat up in a in a battle of some sort. And uh, he had at least a dozen big ass bite bite marks, and flesh was falling off of him. He, uh, it's a shame. Beautiful fish. here. And this area 
called the cliffs between mile about 20.5 and 22, about a mile and a half, two mile stretch. Um, really just absolutely gorgeous. Sheer walls on one side, rolling farm on the other. Just dead quiet, huh? excuse me, calm water and uh, no fish. We're guessing because it got so cold, it was a snap that whatever was in here. I mean, we're not even seeing any fish. The only fish we saw was that big musky that I picked up that was dying. And uh, we haven't seen or nibble anything else. But it is beautiful. Well worth the trip. All right, I'm coming up behind you for this run. You choose your line. John, you're natural. So that was our last class two back there for today anyway. Um, it doesn't have a name, but um, it was fun. It was probably close to a half mile in length. And yeah, I think I got some good video of that. I followed Seth through in the beginning, then I waited for John and got a little bit of him. And uh, my suspicion is that the water is just a little, a little high, that a lot of, some of these water features are hidden. But um, still fun. Still fun, having a good time. Clouds have rolled in, the day is not nearly as nice. It's definitely chilly and the wind is blowing, so it's not ideal paddling conditions. But we're back. Pretty big cliffs right here. Beautiful section of the road. So, we're coming up on this train trestle here. And according to the guide, if we look, once the train would come across the, this bridge, it goes immediately into a tunnel right here at the edge of the river, which is pretty freaking cool, if we can see it. All right, folks, so we have made it to camp. We finished our, finished our little tour this afternoon. We did about 13 and a half miles this afternoon. Cloudy, cold, windy, it wasn't great. But now you can see now it's like the warmest it's been all day. It's mid 60s, the sun came out. Our campsite here is right next to the water and uh, we're enjoying it. And speaking of our campsite, let's call it what it is. Let's call it our glamping site so you can see over here man we got this hooked up hooked up tent comes with comes with all the uh, amenities here it's fully included with a fire ring chairs they give you a whole camp kitchen all that fun stuff and uh, we're cooking up and we're we're doing our thing man and I'll tell you what this uh, 
Big shout out to Twin River Outfitters in Buchanan, Virginia. Not Buchanan, Buchanan, Virginia. Um, for hooking it up. I mean, we this was a last minute find for us. We were going to go somewhere else and we just came here because of the weather. And uh, what a find, man. Very reasonable, inexpensive, great shuttle. They gave us plenty of information and knowledge about what we needed for everything. They let us drop our gear here at the tent site so that it was here waiting for us. We didn't have to pack everything into our um, kayaks. And tomorrow they're letting us pack up and leave everything here. We'll finish the last nine miles tomorrow and then we can just drive back in our truck and pick everything up when we're done on the river. So really super convenient and, um, and it's awesome. Can't say enough good things about the guys at Twin River Outfitters. So uh, check them out in Buchanan, Virginia. And if you have plans to do the uh, Upper James River. So we'll check in, we're just eating dinner. This is gonna be it. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya. All righty. Good morning, folks. So here we are. This was uh, this has been home for the last for the last couple hours, and uh, we're packed up and ready to get out of here. Pretty much. It's uh, it's cold. It's Saturday morning, April twenty fourth, and it is cold. So um, we're bundled up. We were cold last night. And uh, I slept well, John slept well. Seth abandoned us in the middle of the night and went to a different tent because he said we snore, who knew? But uh, you know, we managed, we had a good time, had great dinner, sat around the campfire, and uh, just, you know, just really enjoyed ourselves. So today we got about nine miles left to get back to Twin River Outfitters. We have a class two, class two rapid, about a half mile from camp and then a couple of a series of uh, class ones the rest of the way. Um, several miles of flat paddle, but um, I don't have much battery life left, so I'm just, I don't know how much video I'll shoot on the river, but I'll definitely try to get the, uh, the class two. Um, and I'm down to one camera, so that's it. Go Richie's Falls. comes the drop. I got a little wet on this cold morning. So interesting thing, this train trestle in front of us, if you remember the last, one of the last videos from yesterday, was the train trussle that went across the river and went straight into the mountain. Well, here's the exit here. I don't know where it comes out of the mountain, but essentially the river, this section is called Horseshoe Bend. So it makes a big, almost a loop upon itself. So that, that last trestle went across the river into the mountain and uh, maybe a half mile across land. And now here's that same train track coming back across the river again. Kind of cool, so it would be coming from the. Oh, there, there you go. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think we can see the exit of the exit of the tunnel up there, but pretty cool. This is maybe the prettiest mountain views we've had over the two days. It's gorgeous with the cliffs to the right, farmlands to the left, and then Blue Ridge Mountains in front of us. Beautiful. All right, this overpass in front of us, that is Interstate 81. As you can tell from the traffic, it's obviously a major th throughway runs north to south from, I don't know man, it goes all the way up into Pennsylvania and I think it goes up to New York, maybe, maybe even further, all the way down to Georgia. We'll be taking that home about four hours north and south on that would be about 50 miles to Roanoke.
So this is the last island on the river before we get out. And uh, I decided to go left instead of right, hoping we'd be able to get through. And this is pretty cool. Nice narrow little channel with a lot of debris. But um, there's a stump. I gotta avoid that baby. This is nice, I'm glad I chose this. All right. We have made it. We have made it to our destination. Your Cannon, Virginia, Twin Rivers Outfitters. Here we are. John, you made it. Feel good. Feel real good. Awesome. Here comes Seth. Welcome back to Book Cannon. Seth, you made it. There you go. Look at that expert. John, so Seth and I were having a little conversation. And we were talking about giving you a field promotion oh, yeah? until we saw your paddle upside down. Oh. But uh, I think we're going to officially classify you as an intermediate paddler. All right, boys. With radishes the whole trip. <laughs> so we're, we're done, boys. What, what, what do you guys think? Fantastic. Worth it? That was Fantastic. awesome. Awesome Sorry. trip? Yep. That was great. So that's, this wasn't just a Burt's adventure. This was a Burt, John, and Seth adventure. <laughs> All right, Ciao. we'll see you guys soon.